We can take these organic chemicals and then we can put them into ring structures. And if they are single or double bonded ring stu structures, not triple bonded ones, then you can call them cyclos, cycloalkanes or cycloalkenes. The cycloalkanes are going to have a general formula that's going to be the same as an alkene. Now I'll show you that. Watch. This one, by the way, what would you call that? Well, if it's all carbons connected in a triangle here, one carbon, another carbon, and another carbon here, that's a C3. Now, where, how many H's? Every point here has a bond to another carbon, so it's a carbon here bonded to here to here, which leaves two hydrogens you can bond on there, two here and two here. That's C3H6. That looks like it could be an alkene. Somebody said, do you draw all the isomers for C3H6? Well, C3H6, because it's as one, two, three, there's a double bond, and that could actually be propene. And somebody could say, well, okay, it's propene. If you move that double bond there, is that an isomer of it? Nope, that's still going to be a propene at the one. So it's prop one ene, and that's still prop one ene. You say, well, that's it. That's all the isomers there are for that. But this is an isomer of that too. So the general formula CNH2N can apply to double bonded molecules, but also cyclos as well, cycloalkanes. What do you call this right here? That's the formula C3H6. That's going to be cyclo propane. That's prop, one, two, three, single bonds, ane, cyclo, because it's connected in a circle, cyclopropane. What does that make that? Cyclobutane. Because it would look like this. Oh, sorry. It would actually look like this. Carbon attached to a carbon, attached to a carbon, attached to a carbon, attached to a carbon. H is coming off of those in twos to form that CNH2N there for cyclobutane. Hey, so what's that one there? If you look at that, you go, okay, now it's going crazy, like if something with wings on it, it's going to fly away. Okay, look, that's one, two, three, four, five in the cyclo. So that's a cyclo, how many? Five, pent, single bonds, ane, cyclopentane, but look, that's a methyl branch and a methyl branch coming off. Where are they coming off? Well, you say, well, I'll start here. That's a one. So that's a two, three, four, five. Two, five. Uh, 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 uh. If you keep turning this around all the time, they're all equivalent. All these carbons in the ring are equivalent to each other. They all could be the number one. So which one's the number one? Lowest branch numbers possible. If I call this the number one, then that's the two, then that's the three. But if I call that the one, that would be the two, and that would be the three. I wouldn't go this way because that would be the one and the four. One and the three, right? So it would be one comma three hyphen. How many methyls? Two methyls coming off. So it would be dimethyl, I squeeze it in there. One, three, dimethyl cyclopentane. Woohoo! Now that last one here. That is a cyclo. It's a cyclo who? It's a cyclohex. Because there's six. But there's a double bond. So that there used to be. Now there still is a double bond there. So it's an ene. So it's a cycloene. A cyclohexene. Now you're going to say, well, cyclohex one ene? Well, if you took this and put it here, put it here, put it here, put it there, that would always be just at the one ene, so that would be redundant, so you don't have to say it. You just say cyclohexene. That works fine. And if that had a, car, a, a, a branch coming off of it like this, you'd say, oh, now what's that going to be? Well, here's the thing. If that's the one and the two, then that's the three, that's the four, that's the fourth carbon. If this is the one and the two, and that's the third, and that's the fourth, that's the fifth carbon, going that way. So the double bond has to be between the one and the two. So if it was one here and two here, that would be the fifth. One here, two here, that would be the fourth. So then you got to go this way, lowest number here. And remember, the multiple bond takes precedence over the branch. So that's one, two, three, four. That would be a four methyl cyclohexene.